Mm, yes. Alright, I'm going to show you how to how I tie a spoonbill rig. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can. I need a little better. Making a video, baby. So, obviously, I don't have a fishing pole. This is just some 65 pound test, a 10 out. Um, 10 ounce barbless treble hook and a 5 ounce bank sinker. And I learned this technique from Mr. Rusty Pritchard uh, with Pritchard's, Gu Pritchard's Guide Service in Oklahoma. So, anyway, so just a little you know, double loop the line uh, for your weight. I'll just bring it under and bring it back through. Uh, well, if it works. Try it again. Uh, obviously, give yourself enough to, to do that. Hello. 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 <laughs> so, this will be for the weight. Uh, so you can you can picture this on the uh, on the fishing pole. Just bring it through. Hatley, I'm trying to talk, baby. So bring it through. You can double it up if you want, but I've caught over 100 pound fish with that right there and that works so then picture this being your line side for your, your, um, where you're going to obviously your line coming from uh, down from your pole so then I just take and I'll pull uh, we'll say we'll say about that much roughly and then I'll and, and it's doubled up and I'll bring that through the eyelet there on the hook and then I'll wrap the shank probably four times and I'll take the doubled up part and I'll put it over one barb. That's just it, one barb. If I can get it through there. One barb. Well, uh, uh, there we go. All right, <clears throat> and then I cinch it down. Now, so now you're left with it not being in line. So now you have to take, and just take your couple of your fingers and just double over on the, the line and make a little loop and put it over one barb. That's all I gotta do, put it over one barb. And then you can cinch it down and pull it up to the center of the hook and pull really, 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 really tight. And now it actually it comes down a little bit on one of the one of the barbs. Just pull it all the way up in there in the center and just pull as tight as you can. And nine times out of ten, it'll stay right there in the middle. So now, I know it's hard to see. Um, now you've got the weight or the hook and the weight and you can see how it's dead center well roughly dead center and you can undo it if you need to um, that's pretty much it but now it's it's it literally will not it will not come out of there and it's dead center Obviously, it's way too far. You're you're probably close to two feet. I'm usually about 18 inches, roughly. 12 to 18 inches. So it should be about right there. Yeah, that's pretty much it.